All right, we're live. Brian, you flew me out to California. Thank you. Thanks for um, coming. We're still going to go to San Luis Obispo, but Mother Nature said no mas. Mother Nature dealt us, uh, dealt the kids a hand that they just can't win. So while we're a little disappointed in that, we are still going to go over there. We're going to hang out with those fine young adults. And we're going to have a good time. Future leaders of America. Future leaders of America, yep. they are. Um, as you can see, we here at the SETI Coin team at MLM World Headquarters, we're loaded and ready to go. Everybody's fueled up, aired up, chained down. Yeah, I've never seen three loaded up on a trailer like this. This is quite the um, so this trailer, quite the adventure here. Yeah, tell tell me a little bit about this. So this trailer was built by Denko Trailers in Turlock years ago. Okay, Ron Mayling and his father-in-law, I think Howard Walker, bought it. They were the Falcon. Oh, yeah, I right. recognize that last okay. name. So Ron was on with the John Board and those guys a while back. So they had this trailer built. They used it in their business during the week, but on the weekends they used to haul their pullers. And when we got it, there was actually a little piece of steel plate up here, a little kick out. And they would haul their their twin engine truck, their blown two wheel drive, and their four engine mod on this trailer. So normally we just haul the whip and yellow fever with a Kubota. But a couple weeks ago, we were loading up to go to Larry, and Kev was looking at it, and he says, you know, I think if we put yellow fever and hang it off the front and then put the tractor right up to it, we put the great truck on the back. So Wednesday, we came out, and Dad and Kevin and I spent several hours, but we did get it on there. We had to use these old wood beams that Dad had because the pumpkin of the front end was hitting the winch under there. So we had to get her a little bit of clearance. So that's what this business is all about. But... Uh, then chain them. We never put this many chains on anything, but we didn't want it falling off the front of the trailer because that would suck. Because that's a nice Peterbilt, and we don't want it in the sleeper. So then we come back here. We left them a couple inches in there because um, we don't want them to touch each other. But the whip, she just got her normal chains. Um, then we came back here. We were measuring, and we lacked a couple inches, so we just shifted everything forward. <clears throat> we, well, we got another inch or two to play in there. Um, we just had to get the back tires on enough of the old smoky ear so that we could get the ramps out, put them back where they belong. Um, I'm not sure, you know, there's legal length limits in California and stuff like that, but I don't know. we don't worry about that because um, this is probably a little bit over that, but it's all right. Uncle Kev's a good driver. He can get it there. Uncle Kev's a good driver. Hell yeah. Can't be scared. No, he ain't scared of nothing. Um, so we are bummed for the Cal Poly Tractor Pool Club. They've put a lot of work into this. There's talk they're going to try to reschedule, so it's not completely gone. They're looking at other dates. they got to do some paperwork and, and, and work with the powers to be at school, if you will. We hope they're able to do that this year, still raise some money for their scholarship fund and uh, let all their hard work pay off, which we're looking forward to. But I guess the only silver lining for us is now we kind of have an easy week ahead of us because we're loaded and ready to go to the Max Cackle Pool in uh, Tulare at the World Ag Expo grounds next Saturday, the 20th. I believe it starts at three o'clock in the afternoon and scales are from 11 to two, but double check that with the Max Cackle website and Facebook. Um, but. I don't know, Jason. I think you and I are still going to have a good weekend. Oh, yeah. We're going to we're do a lot of promoting, San Luis, get some learning done. We're going to learn? Well, we're going to keep talking. Talk oh. to future leaders of America. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's important. So, and then when's the first MLM pool of the year? MLM season kicks off May 10th, Friday night, May 10th, in Chowchilla at the Chowchilla Madera County Fair. We've been going there for, I don't know, six or eight years. It's a fun little pool, good track. Um, that'll be a great show. And then... Saturday the 11th is another Max Cackle show in Dixon, uh, probably about a three-hour drive from Chowchilla. So make a weekend out of it. Um, if all goes well, all three of these will be running. They'll just keep running. Yeah. Let's go back to the whip real quick. Um, give me – I want the two-minute highlight. We are gonna we have a full-length uh, shop crib video that we did with Massetti Motorsports. But, uh, yeah, the um, whip's pretty cool. You know, I think it is. I, I like it a lot. So okay. this is Donald Nelson's original chassis. You and Kev bought it. What's this, what's the top story on that? So Kev and I decided that we needed to add a tractor to the group probably 12 years ago, we think. So Donald Nelson was selling this chassis. So we worked out a deal with him, brought it out here. It was the Texas Bull Whip. So we just call it the Whip. 
little nod to the Bullwhip Motorsports. Um, originally, we ran it with two Rodax, uh, just aluminum blocks and uh, blowers. And they ran good, but as times change and evolve, we had to step our game up a little bit. So last summer, we had these two Hemis built and um, moved them up forward, facing away from each other. Uh, with different opinions across the pulling world, whether this setup or inline or side by side facing forward, whatever you know, who knows what the best is. I think they all work well at different deals, but this is really easy to work on. You can just run the valve, walk around it, you can drop the pans. Um, they're basically on an engine stand. Uh, adjusting the clutch, you have to get a little more in, involved, but um, they're easier to work on. And that's what we were looking for. So that's what we did. Awesome. Awesome. So Saturday, Chowchilla, Saturday, May 11th? Friday, May Friday. 10th. Friday, May 10th. Chowchilla, Saturday, May 11th is Dixon. Um, we're looking forward to a great season. I think we have I think we have 12 shows on our schedule this year. Um, and we kind of went over those the other night on yep. our podcast. And we'll, we'll be hitting that again. Um, so we have the one in May. And then we've got... Uh, couple in june we've got the friday the 14th is uh, stockton ag fest and then the following friday no i take it back two weeks later the 28th is our our trip up to willets which we love going up to the willets frontier days uh kick off their their week of celebration leading up to the fourth of july and then uh, nice this year we added on saturday the 29th in lakeport which is only about 45 minutes from willets so that'll be a great doubleheader weekend um we're looking forward to that uh, july we don't i don't think we have any events in july um august we go to ukiah the first weekend and then we added a show in susanville at the lassen county fairgrounds uh, that's just a standalone pool not during their fair so that's august 10th um and then i really should have the schedule in front of me but i think the first weekend of september we go to winnemucca for the tri-counties fair uh, the next weekend is up to Santa Rosa for the huge West Coast Diesels annual truck and tractor pool show and shine event. Uh, that's always a good one. Um, the last weekend of September is the Sosa Memorial Truck Show in Turlock. Uh, we'll be there Saturday night again with the Sosa family. Uh, that's an awesome, awesome event right there. Uh, a couple weeks later, middle of October, we go to Modesto Junior College for their annual event. Uh, that will be Saturday night only this year. Last year we tried two days, but we're going back to just Saturday night. Um, and then we will wrap up our season November 8th and 9th in Madera with the Golden State Invitational. Number three. Number three. So MLM-Motorsports.com? mlm dash. Brad Griffin says, fire up the barbecue and the margarita machine. So the icing machine hopefully is running, and we can make – they call them sloshies nowadays. I sloshies. Guess. You put whatever, Tito's, and then – some you know tito's and, i've heard of it and then you put uh some icy in there and the kids tend to love it so. good i mean the young adults 20, yeah young adults 21 and older. 20 older yep yeah awesome well thank you very much brian thank you Jason. we should probably get on the road yeah we can. give you a little tour here quick they're all load up and again cal poly truck and truck is not happening tomorrow too much rain in the forecast and they can't make a mess so they're thinking about rescheduling it for the fourth of may so thanks for hanging out with us today here live in madera california at the Massetti motorsport shop have a good day